made the mistake of eating a chip right as we were starting. Hello! Welcome to our sleepover. Are we on? Yeah, we're on. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> Welcome to our sleepover party. Um, this is this is it. This is the sleepover. We're here. We have snacks. We have uh, great stuff. This is our first episode. My name's Kim Congdon. And I'm Sarah Weinchank, and we're both comedians. Yeah, we're both comedians, <laughs> and uh, we're going to be having a sleepover every Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Mm-hmm. And you can join us every week. We're going to pop into the chat. Actually, I'm going to do that now. Um, we both do comedy. Sarah also has another podcast. I have a snack podcast called Tuesday Snacks where we have snacks and different comedians come on. Um, last week we had a DJ, which was interesting because I didn't even think that that would ever happen. I had oh, a I DJ come on my You podcast. had a DJ? Yeah. My friend was a DJ. What so was his DJ name? Isn't that like name? such an L.A. story? What was, uh, <laughs> what was the DJ name? His DJ name, it used to be Sex Panther, but now he's like on a spiritual path, so his name is... He's a DJ is porn star? It's Soul Panther. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a whole Panther? fucking thing. That's why you have to go listen to the episode, because the story is really interesting. Okay, let's see if this is... Uh, I think this is our chat, right? Yeah, this is the chat. Just saw this now. It's okay. I'm having fun commenting, unless you want to try it. What? I don't know. I feel like this is some inside stuff. I don't know. Just like we can leave this here. We'll we'll see if people want to chat. If they don't want to chat, then fuck them. We'll just chat. <laughs> oh, here we are. Right? This is it. I found it. We Kim, Sarah, there is no sound, ladies. There is no sound. I there's still go no by sound. Sex Panther. No, there's sound now. We're good. We caught up. I think is the is the thing. There was no sound. Yay! Thank you guys. People are chatting. Um, we have Astro Fro. Let me be frank. Torgo zero zero. Wait, Mr. Astro Fro. Yeah, but That's it's a tight name. Fro, like fat, which Let I like. Let me see. Astro Fro, but fat. Oh uh, yeah, I, li I think it's interesting when people put ph and they use it as an f. Mm hmm. Um, um, let me be frank. L chat. <laughs> You know, it's like a bold move. I want to chat. Torg wants to chat. Well, you're here, Torg, and we're paying attention to you. Torg? Yeah, I mean, sounds aggressive. <laughs> but What's up, Torg? Uh, oh, yeah, kind of low, though. Low sound. Frank Frank, by the way. Frank Frank. Oh, okay, Frank Frank. Give us, we're on nickname Is basis. Is that Frank Frank? Already. Frank? Frank Frank. Um, so, you guys, what do you think of this 90s set we have here? We're really excited about it. Um, we made these collages behind us. Right? Yeah, we did. We spent a while on them. They spent a, we spent a really long while on them. And yeah, at one point, Kim was like, come on, Sarah, it's good enough. <laughs> Astrofro says it was his high school nickname, and he uses it for all his gaming. Cool. What was your first screen name? Oh, God, it's so embarrassing. My first screen name, it was <laughs> really emotional. I made it when I was 13 years old after I broke up with my first boyfriend, and I called it Wasted Hearts XX. No, Wasted yeah. Hearts yeah. XX. Do you want to know what mine was? <laughs> what? Crybaby 2013. Oh, my gosh, that's cute. I was like, yeah, but, like, I didn't want to do a QT because I felt like that was already Yeah, QT is really hack. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is it. We And we also, Kim and I actually made a web series together. Yeah, we did. It's called Half Full. It's a story about, we have the same names, Kim and Sarah, but we're half sisters, and go check it's it out. It's a story, not in real life. Yeah. Our TV show is about us being half sisters and finding each other. And it's really fun. So you can find that on. Finding each other, but it's funny. Like, it's finding each other, but, like, not in, like, an ABC She's family rid, type I'm of way, poor. you know? Yeah, you know, I'm rich. Hello. I know it's hard. Fan yeah. club here. Hello, Lope Dog. Half Full. Yeah, Half yeah, Full. Yeah, it's called Half Full. You can find it on YouTube at Half Full Series. And this channel is Josh Play, obviously. Um, and we're going to be on here every Monday. At noon Pacific Standard Time. Yeah. I'm Sarah Weinstein. This is Kimberly Congdon. And you can... Yeah, and so... I think it's probably... We should probably bring in... Our guests. Our guests. We're really excited. Every week we're going to have... Uh, someone um, different. Someone different with us. We're going to have a friend with us who's going to game. We're going to game, talk a little. We're going to pull names out of this... Uh, questions out of this bucket. That's a sleepover have bucket. sleepover snacks. The possibilities are endless. Truth or dare. Who knows? Yeah. You know, it's going to be nonstop. Like, w if you're a dude and you wonder what girls do at sleepovers, this is basically that. Yeah. Uh, this is everything you've ever needed. We might uh, sneak out paint of the window. Nails, paint our nails. Braid hair. Bonds. You know, girl things. Girl things. Talk about boys. Talk about, <laughs> <laughs> talk about who's a bitch. Yeah, All of the true. things, yeah, right? That's true. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited bringing this first guest. He's our first guest of the show ever. 
uh, popping the sleepover guest virginity. Uh, <laughs> Cherry. He, uh, he's known from, he's a comic around L.A. He was also uh, in The Boy in the Striped Pajamas as The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. <laughs> now he is the man in the Striped Pajamas. Please give it up for Hormos Rashidi. Yay! What's up, Hormos? Hormos Hi, is Hormos. How are you? Hormos is the homie. Oh, thank you. What's cracking? Thank you so much. Hormos uh, is this our... This is our mom. Thanks, Mom. She's thank you, Mom. <laughs> thank you, Mom. Uh, I guess, yeah, she, Hormos didn't want any, so don't think he's left out. Oh, yeah, he doesn't <laughs> like hot cocoa because, you know, the hot cocoa thing. So <laughs> Yeah, I, my dad, when I was a kid, used to punish me by pouring hot cocoa on my genitals. <laughs> you know what? And now, uh, I don't want to, <laughs> let's not bring down this party, though. <laughs> Uh, okay, so are they okay? Uh, <laughs> no, they're not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for but being with here. us. But you're here. genitals and all. Thank you. Uh, Hormos. Um, Hormos is a comic. Uh, Hormos is a friend. A friend. And a comic. Or as Sarah would put it, a commie DN. That's how she introduced it. Yes, oh my God. Did I introduce you? <laughs> you're like, yeah, we're both comedy DNs. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I was just like so overwhelmed. I was like, we're going live. I'm in a pajama <laughs> outfit. Is we have collages. Like, I s fully, it was a weird move. Like, I yeah. put a strange enunciation. <laughs> I'm really glad that you're actually bringing that up because yeah. I would have felt stranger to not. And I don't <laughs> think I would have remembered the, that weird. It yeah. was like a weird thing. You said commie. It's like, it's like a communist <laughs> yeah. comedian. Like yeah. Is that what you said? For yeah. Oh, I thought he was joking. No. You really said that? No. Yeah. Like, I don't know what the vibe is, but, like, this morning I've been putting enunciations in, in the wrong places. Oh, yeah. Because it's get been stressful. Uh, you almost <laughs> did it again with the word wrong. You were, like, in the wrong. Mm <laughs> <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> yeah. We got some people talking. Um, half fool. Hello. Lope dog. Mom's going to find out you girls brought weed to the sleepover. We <laughs> would never do that. Those were cigarettes we found in the grass outside. <laughs> <laughs> Those are grass ABC cigarettes. ABC Family has reconstruction. Frank, uh, thank you so much. Mr. Duba. Mr. Duba. Mr. Duba. Who do ABC you think Family you has are? reconstructed and is apparently going by free form now. No one knows why, though. Okay. Cool. Wow. All right. So, uh, Thomas, do you have anything to say about that? I mean, I feel like <laughs> each person's opinion on ABC Family is their own, and we shouldn't, like, try and pigeonhole people into believing the same thing about <laughs> ABC Family. Yeah, yeah, true. We agree. So, and also, Hormos. Yeah. Hormos has a, a podcast. Is I it, do. It's a new podcast, yeah. right? What is it? It's called it's The called Political... Political Potluck. Cool. Oh, I and, love that. Uh, and, and, and what I'm happens? I'm on it tonight. Yeah, Kim is going to be on it tonight. Uh... And it's gonna be great, and I'm I'm gonna have hopefully you on it soon too. And it's just comics at the comedy store during potluck on Mondays. I just bring down three comics and just talk about what was going on in the news. So for those of you guys who don't know what potluck is, can you kind of explain it? Every Monday at the comedy store in Hollywood, the greatest comedy club ever, uh, there's an open mic, and then uh, a period where the unpaid regulars get to go up and then the paid regulars go up. So it's just it's a night where everybody gets to go up and they have like 40-something comics go up. And so I thought it was a good opportunity while me and all my comedian friends are there anyway to grab a few of them, take them downstairs into the basement studio they built and do a podcast where we talk about the news of the week. And it could be funny, it can be serious. Sometimes it's serious, sometimes it's funny. That's uh, awesome. Yeah. That, sound, that sounded like it was going to go in a completely different direction when you brought up the basement. But yeah, we go down to the basement. <laughs> basement. Sometimes it's funny. Sometimes people get hurt. <laughs> so I think that we should probably pick out a game, right? We can yeah, game and, and do some of this stuff, and we can check in with them and Little, right? Yeah, we can do that. But they want to know if our Hanson poster is autographed, and I want to let you know that I freaking wish. Cause <laughs> I freaking wish. I freaking wish, because Hanson... Was Hanson was the jam. All that and a bag of chips. Like, mm. yeah, let's talk about some of the '90s stuff we have going on here yeah, because yeah. it's like bringing up weird yeah, memories. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Beanie Babies. Okay, I got super into Beanie Babies. I had about, I think I had about 500 and something Beanie Babies, and they all had the tags on them. And I thought that they were going to be worth lots of money later on. Like everyone else, I got duped. But I had a ton of them, and it was, like, what I lived for, you know? Like, I did not take the tags off. If I took the tag off, I had tag protectors on them. Oh, God. I was, like, a fucking loser with these How Beanie Babies. How old were you? 
Oh, I got 18. into this for a while. <laughs> no, yeah, I I had some strange phases. Um, <laughs> this was like from probably fourth grade to like eighth grade. Okay, and that's then, not that bad. But then in eighth grade, I was like, you know what, I'm over this, and I randomly joined the environmental club, uh-huh. and I was like, we could have a fundraiser. And I could sell my Beanie Babies. And oh this, my like, God. That's great. the, and then, like, the environmental club uh, teacher, who was also the PE coach, was like, bitch, you only get one job. And, like, the computer teacher, PE coach, environmental club leader, and a computer teacher. <laughs> okay? This bitch, I donate <laughs> these Beanie Babies to her. My mom's like, why are you donating your Beanie Babies to the environmental club? I paid a lot of money for those. Yeah. Like, you were so into this for like years and now on a whim you're in you're involved in like green peace like what is happening so i donated them and then we never had a beanie baby sale and now this bitch has all my beanie babies wow what's her name let's let's put her on blast yeah coach terry coach terry Terry. but she was also the pe teacher Mm. ass computer teacher environmental club pick a lane (laughs) <laughs> you know? Uh, do, do you have any obsessions, Hormos, with things? What was your game in the 90s? I know you brought a, a Game Boy in. I didn't have any game systems other than Nintendo when I was a very little kid. Did, did you, you have so an N64 ever? No. 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 Oh. I was never that into video games. I liked Nintendo. I liked Super Tech Mobile and Mario and all that stuff from back in the day. Uh, I have like an addictive personality, so if I if my parents got me one of those like really good ones like N sixty four, if I had Mario Kart yeah. around all the time, yeah. that I would play like Mario. Whenever I'd go to my friend's house, we'd play me Mario Kart too. nonstop. Never at sleepovers. Yeah. Oh yeah. At sleepovers, I would go over to. Be I was not allowed to go to sleepovers. Though. You weren't. No. Did you, when was you, have you? Did you ever have a sleepover? No. I'm just saying you really? put a hit no. on <gasps> Coach Terry. In I'm the so chat. glad that he's our first guest. You've never had a sleepover? No, no. Oh, here we I go. I mean, I, I'd gone to sleepover parties, and then my parents would pick me up, like, <laughs> when everybody's close to going to sleep, like, around Wh- 11 par- o'clock, maybe. Oh, I, really? I would be the they one who had to go home. Oh, let's, okay, yeah. because we'll tell, we're going to brief you on everything that happens at a sleepover, basically. So do we, when do we want to start playing this game? We can play, we can play a quick game. Let's, let's play see. some games. I don't know how many players Mortal Kombat is, but let's see if we can get this. Is this my controller? Yeah, this is yours. Word. This one's mine. Um, yeah, so, okay. Wait, Did I you just want to let like you know that they're what? saying, Coach Terry, we're coming for you. Yeah, Rest get him. Rest in peace, Coach Terry. Mm. Coach Terry? Coach Slit Terry Coach Terry's watch throat. watch her ass, yeah. is all I'm saying. I think I speak for Jash Coach as a company Ter- when I say, murder Coach Terry <laughs> at any cost. <laughs> right? I think... Yeah, yeah, but okay. make sure she's wearing a <laughs> Hawaiian they shirt. The thumbs up. Yeah, they said. Make sure that she's wearing a Hawaiian shirt. I think no, Sarah so Silverman just called in and said it's fine to kill Coach Terry. Thank you, Coach like, Terry. Yeah. My PE, t- my PE coach, computer teacher, whatever. She stole my Beanie Babies. Is what I'm trying Can to say. Well, what about troll dolls? Did you have any troll dolls? My sister up? did. Uh, I I didn't know. But but my sister did, and Ooh, I remember Tamagotchis. them very fondly. Tamagotchis, Tamagotchis, Tamagotchis. Tamagotchis. I had That's Tamagotchis. What's that? It was like a digital an pet. Egg you raised. Oh no no no! The Asian kids in my school had those. The, the little space. ones that mm-hmm. you carry on your keychain, and you have to occasionally push buttons mm-hmm. to feed it and like stuff. Yeah, weird. Okay, um, so should should okay, let's play a game between me and you, Sarah, and whoever wins plays Hormos for the championship. Yeah, we'll oh. battle Hormos in the. Yeah, you guys watch us play. Now Let's watch us play. Now watch me, nay, nay. Yeah. But, like, I don't know why now I had to do that. They said <laughs> boy sleepovers <laughs> is like Lord of the Flies. Anything can happen while you're asleep. Ugh. Oh, that's true, yeah. Lope Dog did not have good sleepover experience. Yeah. Okay, let's <laughs> let's talk about your worst sleepover because experience, oh, I Kim. Because I, yeah, let's talk about Mine our my worst ones. Birthday. You had people over to your house <laughs> to sleep over? Yeah. It was okay. my sleepover. It was my 10th birthday. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is okay. Well, so yeah. Hit A, Sarah. No, it just I did. did. And it did that. Player options, you hit X, Kim. We're having technical difficulties, but so what was your what was your ten year old sleepover? My ten year old sleepover was uh, it was my tenth birthday. I talked about the entire month. I was like, it's my double digits. That was like my shit. Oh god! I kept saying I'm turning double digits. I kept saying that. And then my mom bought. This was actually very irresponsible. My mom. Now that I'm thinking about it, 
my mom bought the spray hairspray that dyed your hair like pink and stuff. You know those? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And we all did it in the room, and I got sick from it. And from so the spent, aerosol? Yeah, so, so you I got like high off. <laughs> I got. I just. Or am, are we okay? Okay, cool. And and I spent my entire tenth birthday uh, throwing up in my mom's bathroom, and I can hear all my friends playing in the next room. <laughs> That's really terrible. And I was like so excited. It was like my first sleepover. Can I? You want to know mine? Yeah. Was oh, uh, this bitch, bitch who was my neighbor, uh-huh. Ellen? My mom used to always make me go to Ellen's house because her she used to like to play outside, and her mom was like real like into like paying like making her kids play outside and mm -hmm. like using their imagination. What mm -hmm. happened? I don't know. So my mom thought my, my mom thought it was good for me to go to Ellen's house because I would be outdoors doing stuff. Whereas, like, if I was home, I'd just be like, Mom, I want to play inside right. and, like, oh eating no. snacks and shit. Right. So she used to send me to Ellen's house, and this bitch used to always try to get me to pet her fish. And I was like, I don't want to yeah. pet your fish. What a weird friend to have. Oh, Sarah, watch out. Which one am I? You're the blue one. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I don't know. I'm not really... <gasps> Sarah. Yeah, bitch. This the, is my game, okay? The blue one kind of looks like a really hot tranny or like yeah. a hermaphrodite or something. They both kind of do. The blue dick in the middle. I don't know if just my... <laughs> is this really me? I'm Wait, really on, good on, at this game, on, Sarah, maybe. Stop killing me for a second. Can you stop for a second? I just... Okay, <laughs> this I is the funnest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just good at okay, this. I'm just bad at it. I thought my controller wasn't working. This is the, my game, Hormuz. <laughs> I don't want to get too cocky, but I thank God because oh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh hell what? No. <gasps> oh, I did that to you, or did you do that to me? No, she did that to you. That's it's really so crazy. violent. The one I with mean, the blue nice. stripe thing is dominating. Yeah. So how did you do that? I'm just honestly, I just Push a bunch I of know buttons. this game like the back of my <laughs> hand. What? Did you see what I just did? She's doing that to you. Yeah. I'm Where's getting too cocky. Shit Did we both pick the same girl? No. They look the same to me. I feel like if I had this game as a kid, I would have these girls play oh, fight against you. each other, and I would just jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you beat me. <laughs> did you see what I just did? Look. All right. Oh, have, oh, there's round two. Oh. This this is is honestly, I'm kidding. exhausted oh, from making this girl <laughs> do Okay, all so this. I'm the pink one. We confirmed this, right? Yeah. yeah. Are you yes, feeling? Yes, you're pink. She's just Sarah's surprised blue. that I'm randomly good at this, I think. I <laughs> because I'm terrible at every other game. That This is so fun. Is this uh, your new game? Yeah. Oh, she's just roundhouse kicking me in the face, but I'm not afraid of nothing. This is well, crazy. I think, like... Yeah, this is... <laughs> I need a second chance. <laughs> oh, God, Sarah. Oh shit. Th this game is like. I feel like we're honestly, really I feel like. <laughs> I feel like we're really fighting. Really? What if she just does it? We just stop talking after this. Yeah. We're like, oh yeah, that sleepover show? Yeah. <laughs> Some shit went down. <laughs> Sarah took Mortal. Kim took Mortal Kombat. No. Yeah. Oh, she did. Oh, but now your energy's down. Now round three. Oh no, you guys all started I mean, with the same. I mean, look at that energy. dragon I behind see. us. They're all bloodied. Uh, bye. Oh, Sarah, getting cocky with the bye. Uh, bye, bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen this side of you. Um, anytime I'm good at something that's unexpected. It's <sighs> thrilling to me. Like, remember when I got really into rap? <laughs> oh, guys? yeah, you did Sally from the Valley. How could Sally I from I the did. Valley. That's what I think about whenever we talk about her rap. I hate career. that fucking bar. Why do we have to relive <laughs> that, bar? that bar? I had some good bars. Bad bar. <laughs> Why do we have to go? I spit hot fire. Why do we have to revisit some Sarah. of these? Sarah. What? Sarah's like I'm dialogue. fucking with you guys right now. <laughs> I spit hot fire. That's just because you're beating me. Oh, she's trying to make this like I'm embarrassing myself, but really she's just trying to distract me and make me embarrassed <laughs> yeah. about my rap career. Yeah. This, sh this bitch is strategic. Oh, she's close. Oh, finisher. Oh, you didn't even do a move. Yeah, you that's like right. <laughs> what are they saying? <laughs> They're saying, rest <laughs> in peace, Coach Terry. <laughs> Still. Oh, my God. Okay, so now Hormos. Yeah. We're going to select an... You're gonna here. Let's I'm let's gonna let's, take your let's just, I'm gonna just put your rematch. I'm gonna let you select a new fighter. Oh, I, yeah, I want to be a chick too. Yeah? Well, maybe I want to be a dude now. 
All right. So <laughs> we'll make it into my something. mom donated all my Legos Ooh, to elementary school. Now I'm gonna be this Native school. American Torgo guy. said that. Ugh. That's really Hell yeah. sad. It's also like, how many toys does one kid fucking need, you know? But also, these are in Coach Terry's house. American yeah. And if some of those are collectible. I managed to hold on to my Legos until 28, Cobble, then my mom sold sucked. them at an auction for next to nothing while I was in Florida. Damn it. I almost oh, killed know. my own mother. They're always telling me to get my boxes from the basement. Well, get your boxes I'm from going the basement, I'm going Quinchy. This Pete guy. Lunch. Feels bad, man. My first sleepover, I, I went to the pastor's house, and there was a dog dog shit in every corner of the house. Ooh, that's the worst, sleeping over at a dirty friend's house. Okay, yeah. That's not good. Well, yeah, that's gross. I used to go over to this one Hello girl's house, these. and her whole family spit when they talk. Oh, Freddy Krueger? <laughs> I'm not how do What do we hit next? A? Well, that's yeah, me, that that badass <laughs> motherfucker. That's me. Yeah, that's Versus you? Versus Freddy Krueger. You're scary. Yeah, that's right. I'm coming to DT DTLA, Eric is here. Our hey, DTLA. DTLA. What's up? Oh, also, dude, fucking, I went to this party in kindergarten. Best party of my life, mind you. In kindergarten? It was, yeah, it was a troll doll home decorating party where we built our own homes for troll dolls. What? Yeah. That sounds really fun. And it was so fun. And, like, yeah, so, Hormuz, what kind of toys did you play with growing up? Uh, I was really into basketball and basketball cards. Oh shit. Maybe I got a little too cocky. Oh shit. You know what? I feel like I was more comfortable with the feminine form and moving as a female than I am <laughs> <laughs> as a man. Looks like a good button crusher. So yeah, that's all I am. Is a button crusher. Yeah, I crush buttons Don't and I crush <laughs> pussy. <laughs> what do you not, do, bro? Not the pussy as much. As bro. <laughs> oh, what did I just do that for? How did I do that? That's I crush buttons and I crush puss. Okay, so for if you guys are just tuning in now, welcome to our sleepover show. I'm Sarah Weinchang. Ooh. Um I'm Kim Congan. We're both comedians and this is the sleepover. This it's every Monday. <laughs> And I'm I'm d I'm dying to plug our show oh my God. and introduce Don't ourselves. Use that as an excuse. I am a murder, okay? Um, also, like, yeah. My fingers got tired doing that. Yeah, this is yeah I'm gonna fucking get carpal tunnel. This is a real occupational hazard here. <laughs> um, but yeah, for the if you're just tuning in, our sleepover party is every Monday live on Twitch, Jash Play, and it starts at noon Pacific Standard Time. Here, I lost, right? Good job, Hormuz. Hormuz, are you ready to... Should we do a rematch or, or oh. different player, teams? I don't want a new fighter. Okay. I want my own fighter, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so... Maybe this guy. Yeah, and this is our guest, Hormuz. He's a comedian, if you're just yep. tuning in. Hor where can our listeners find you on Twitter? Uh, at Not Hormones. Uh, like not oh, hormones. That guy's dope. You got yeah. a cool guy. Because the people mess up your name. Or yeah. You yeah. Everybody th when I first introduced myself, everybody says, "Did you say hormones?" <laughs> and then so I wanted to have on Twitter uh, hormones, but some uh, like transgender hormone therapy doctor already got hormones. That motherfucker. Hormones. Yeah, he he already got it. So I had to settle for not hormones. That's so rude. Yeah. You want to shout him out too? They can. Put out a hit for him yeah, if year. you're on Twitter, uh, go tell the guy hormo at hormones to get the fuck off Twitter. Are we gonna curse on this? <laughs> yeah. Is your mom yeah. around for the sleepover? Yeah. No, <laughs> mom, can we curse? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah, nice. we can curse. You know, right. <laughs> we're just living our truths. Yeah. So Sometimes you gotta throw a fuck hormones. out there. Um, so oh, let's shit. see. Let me see what else. Um, Hormones, where are you from? I was born in Iran, you were. and uh, I grew up in Orange County. That's a major... It's not that different. There's really? a lot of Iranians in Orange County. No, I mean, it's, I mean, it's very different <laughs> than so Iran. You, you <laughs> <laughs> I was like, because Orange County and Iran sounds very different, like, in my mind. She goes, really? <laughs> my <laughs> mind was just so blown by that. How did I do that? How did I do that? That was so cool. So, yeah, sleepovers are fucking fun, man. They're always fun. Like, except, though, if you ever got sick at someone's house or, like, you know, like, people do weird shit at sleepovers, like, girls. Like, you do, like, those weird games. Like, light as a feather, stiff as a board. Yeah, it's I like, remember that shit. It was what, so real. How do kids learn how to do that shit? 
Do you know what light of us? Oh, hormones. Ah! Hormos is seriously. I'm the lizard oh, guy. He gets oh, so no. physical oh, with it. Yeah. Oh, that was close. It was uh, very close. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just pressing oh, buttons, no. but yeah. You're not just a button pusher. Oh, shit. Don't be so it started hard on again? yourself. They don't even give you a second to rest your fingers in this game. This shit is strategic. Oh, my God. DJ Shanks. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm DJ Shanks. Um... Invite the devil to your sleepover and play light as a feather, stiff as a board. Oh, we should so play light as a feather. How do stiff we as a explain board. light as a feather, stiff as a board if people don't know what it is? It's this game where you invite spirits to lift your friends into the air. Usually played at white sleepovers. Uh, and well, you mean white girl sleepovers? Yeah, I've what? never been to a black sleepover where we played those games. I mean, I just feel like it's pretty <laughs> much a universal sleepover. No way. Game. No way. What about Bloody Mary? I'm kicking your ass many? with these kicks. Well, so, like, were you going to black sleepovers and white sleepovers? Yeah. Because you're brown? And, and black and white <laughs> sleepovers. And those, only the white girls would and the and some of the brown girls. What? I went to a sleepover where we tie-dyed, and that was pretty cool. But, like, my mom would not be down with that shit. Kim had a birthday party, and I saw pictures of it, so I know it's true. What? That slime party. I had a slime party, yeah. My mom made slime. Like Nickelodeon slime. Nickelodeon style ass slime. Because Nickelodeon was the jam. What did you watch growing up? I was like, what were you in it? I loved Ghostbusters when I was a little kid, Ninja Turtles. I feel like I cannot talk to you while you game me. Yeah. It's very damn, I just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's like oh, a that workout. Was, I, damn, oh, I damn. broke your neck, your your intestines, dope. your spleen. I fucked your shit up. How do you know that was his spleen though? Because she was pre med at the University of Florida. You don't know this about Kim? I was. What? Yeah, I was gonna be a doctor. Well, no, I know Kim wasn't gonna be a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bitch. Also, I'm not. Yeah. Well, the first game you did that to me so many times. Also, though, you guys, the troll doll up here is wearing a little negligee. No. Don't no. know why. Don't know why. Um, what about, like... Damn. You... I spilled it. Um, <laughs> did you ever... What was your best sleepover, Kim? <laughs> My best sleepover? Um... Do I want to oh, play? Oh, when I yes. my 14th birthday. Who won? Are you taking a break? I won. Hormos, are I you? won. Oh. Kim's <laughs> just so competitive. <laughs> this bitch always, can Can you hold this yeah. thing? Okay. Are cool. we playing now, Shane? Well, I guess we don't need to switch these, right? Is there anything interesting in that chat? What controller is going to grab? <laughs> People ask if we met on Kill Tony. We did meet on Kill Tony. Did well, you? Yeah. You guys didn't know kind each other before of. that? No, we met on Kill Tony. Yeah, we oh, met really? on Kill Tony, yeah. So what do we what do we hit? Yeah, we met on Kill Tony. What's the Nickelodeon the device fighters? next to Kim on the shelf? Oh, uh, it's a Nickelodeon Funny alarm you should clock. ask. <laughs> <laughs> it's really Lope I have dog. to show them. Can I show them? Yeah. This is really the coolest thing. You don't have Listen to, ask to this for alarm clock. Bitch. It's pretty long. We realize now that's the salute your that's from salute your shorts. It's not done yet. Once you think it's done, I'm gonna be that blue bitch because that's who I am. Do you know? Look at this light shine. Kim, what character do you want to be? Lope Dog also earlier said he totally jerked it to Mortal Kombat 2. So, I feel you, Lope Dog. I would have, I would have as well. You, you jerked it to Mortal Kombat 2. I didn't, too? but if uh. I had these hot chicks with big tits fighting each other in this game, I would just. Oh, I, I thought would, I that he was them. calling me a hot chick with big tits. I was like, you damn right. right. And then, oh. I, then I was like, I don't have big tits. <laughs> damn right I am. <laughs> I was like, I don't have big tits. They call me Miss Hot Chick with big tits. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, I'm wearing a giraffe costume. <laughs> um, Astro. Pick your I picked the blue girl. Astro oh. Bro like, said you guys were amazing on Kill Tony. Thank so. you. That was nice. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Astro Fro. And actually, Hormos was on my podcast Tuesday Snacks before. Yeah, it was fun. And you've done, have you done Kill Tony before? Yeah, Fart. I've done Kill Tony a few times. Yeah, Hormos. <laughs> Carmos does this show called Roast Battle and Kill Tony in his own podcast. And, um, 
What's your favorite? And the boy in the striped pajamas, that was me. Oh yeah, that was yeah. a big hit. <laughs> yeah, I'm just loving these PJs. So do you have a set of PJ? Whoa, like I brought my twin out to look at These are ass. actually my PJs that I sleep in. They're, How uh, often do you wear a pajama pant? Because this is something I'm cold, interested in. Like, <gasps> when it's cold? Like, when it's hot, Damn. I'm just boxers oh, or basketball shorts. But when it's cold... <laughs> Let's talk let sleepwear for a minute here. Oh yeah, that's right. Model that shit off. I wish we had a 360 cam. We could, we could all see. Ooh, hormones. Make sure there's no button pop out or anything. I, I'm like so interested in hormones' <laughs> uh, modeling that I'm no longer playing fully. Wow. Wow. And what's on your shirt? Is that uh, okay. a wall? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so um, we get the gist of it now. We're gonna get banned. <laughs> We're like, uh, yeah, it was great. That boy in the sp striped, striped pajamas. pajamas. He's like the most fe well-fed <laughs> kid <laughs> in the concentration camp. <laughs> so, yes, PJ wear. Kim, what about you? What? I like. Cause I what like do I wear to bed? PJ bottom year round. Like I love a pink. Okay, it's too hot. What for the me. fuck? I don't know. What I have happened. a twin, and he keeps fucking like your day up. Where's my twin? I don't understand how you're multiplying and then you want my twin my again. Ass. Here's my twin again. I'll bring my Listen, twin out, bitch. Now the th the problem is, as a button pusher like Hormos and I are, yeah, it's only you can only get so far. Yeah, true. <laughs> you, like, you don't know what the fuck anything yeah. does, but like you can you can just or you can just act real crazy. Like you could start off strong as a button pusher. Yeah. And there's some hope you might win. Damn, I brought you to hell. The best that. is when you play video games against somebody who's super into video games and competitive. And yeah. you just button push and win, and then you say, okay, I'm done. Who won? I'm not, and then don't let them play anymore again. Uh, I won. So you just leave as the winner. Should we you won? I like this game. Uh, when's the pillow fight? Oh, pillow fight! You both hit Sarah with a pillow. That's no! Sarah, Sarah hates the pillow <laughs> fight. <laughs> Sarah hates yeah, actually, a real feather came out of it, like mm -hmm. a movie. Yeah. It was very like movie. a movie. Like a movie. Wait, so like a pillow fight that would never happen at the Wai Chang home. My mom would be like, "That's a mess. I'm not cleaning <laughs> that up. We have to be quiet. We have to get up early. Dad has to work tomorrow. You guys are being loud. I'm gonna separate you." Like I'm gonna separate you. Such a mom thing to say at a sleepover. Say that to you? Of course. I was like, "Yeah, bitch. I've never seen you do that once." Of course, she never so separated. But the best part was waking up in the morning after staying up till like 5 a.m. with your friends and then get the breakfast? big ass breakfast. Yeah, that Yum. shit was fun. One time my friend's mom took us to Denny's in our PJs. What? My friend's mom took us to Denny's. Oh, our that's so fun. And I was like, this is the life. Dude, we should get Denny's here as on a sleepover meal one day. Denny's, if you're out there. Denny's, if you're <laughs> out there and you're watching this podcast, <laughs> which you are. You look up some fresh faces, Denny's. You need some fresh, you need some new girls for your commercials. That's or right. Or animals. Grand Slammas. Grand <laughs> Slam. Anyways, uh, uh, that sounded weird. I, I know two, two, twos girls that would like the opportunity. That's a meal. Two, two, twos? What's yeah, that it's two Moons eggs, two bacon. My oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I think, don't they have a name for that? I don't think it's called two, two, two. It's two, two, twos. Oh, yeah, they ha they have I've been to Denny's. Denny's. Oh, maybe that's IHOP. Oh, shit. Now yeah. I'm mixing them up, too. Uh, no, Denny's was oh, Grand Slam. What about Moons Over My Hammy? That's Denny's. That's Denny's. But the Grand Slam breakfast was the two. Grand like Slam. Thing, yeah. What about yeah. pigs in a blanket? Is that just a thing? Not like it. I think that's just a thing, yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, they said, wasn't Hormos a patriot? You did do. You I was Iron Patriot. You and were. as you can tell from my t-shirt, I'm, I'm a true American patriot. Yeah, so. he is. That's right. You're a grand old flag. You're a high flag. What percentage of girls played games in the 90s? What? What percentage of girls played video games in the 90s? 17.3, oh, yeah. we're asking. Hormos actually went to school for that. Yeah, 17.3, uh, and then in, in the year 2000, it changed to 19.7. He got a degree in 90sology. Yep, in 90 statistics about video games and gender. What actually. game are we going to play here, Kim? Are we going to play a new game? Yeah, I think, can we play a new game? We can. We're ready to Do you guys have us. Can you just solitaire? surprise us? Solitaire. solitaire. <laughs> Speaking of the 90s. That's so funny. <laughs> Do you have solitaire? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, yeah, I just Hormo starts 90s. playing. Oh, oh. I love that. So Classic Game Boy with Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. Wait, so I don't even know what. Is that what yours si or did you get it as an adult? No, this is uh, my girlfriend and your roommate, Angela's. 
uh, Angela Gabby Geesons and the game. Whoa, he threw her whole name out. Oh there. yeah, that's I right. Did. She wow. got a real shout out. Damn, he made sure she out. got the shout out. Uh, I love you. <laughs> and this is. Uh, We're a also video doing game love song requests here. My this. roommate, this is Don so Gamora, uh, who's on Twitter at I assume John Gamora. I'm not sure. And uh, shout out to you, John. <laughs> this <laughs> is hilarious. You. I love you, John. This is hilarious. So. That's so and funny. And I actually take this to open mics and play. That sounds <laughs> oh, great. This, this is my sister's. I stole it from her. Uh, I feel like this would probably cause a fight now still. Yeah. So I just want to give it a shout out. To, I'm just kidding. I want to give out a shout out to everyone whose shit is up here. What was your teacher's name again that stole Co- all those beanie babies? Coach Terry. Terry. Coach Terry is wishing she could steal those right there, too. Can She's I give like, a oh, fresh meat. <laughs> can I give a shout out to some a teacher I want to put a hit on? Miss yeah. Acock. Miss Acock, so mean. I get it. You probably went through a lot with her yeah. name. Now I get it. Actually, yeah. never mind. Leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's been through enough. Hey, <laughs> she was a teacher, a fourth grade teacher, Miss Name Miss Acock. Uh. That's the worst grade to get. Did she marry? Is she Miss or Mrs? Uh huh. Is she is she Mrs. Acock? She was Miss, Miss. Acock. Oh, okay. Because if she married into Acock, she must she have loved she been yeah. to that guy. I'm keeping wine shank. No matter what. Oh, okay. Look at what we got here. Oh, I see you, Sonic. Looking fly. What is this? Yay, three players. Okay. Someone said the Hormos is in love. Yeah. Can I request air supply? All out of love. Haha. Ha. I'm all out of. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have a request coming in from These the are line. legit pajamas. I'm all out of love. <laughs> well, like, have you listened to Love Songs on the Coast? That shit is real. It's like. <laughs> Hello, I'm Karen Char. <laughs> Thank you guys for coasting with us tonight. Tonight we have a letter from Brandon, and Brandon writes. <laughs> and Brandon dear writes. Hannah, from the first time oh, I, I saw you. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. not listening to coast at the same time it's as like, you, Brandon. It's also like, I can't believe people Career. still do that. Wait, yeah, don't like click anything. TV, Go back, Sarah. Everybody was listening to the same radio station, and that would be a thing you could do. Now it's like, if you do that, you got to call. You gotta call your the person and be like, hey, t- tune into this station <laughs> and, hey. and listen to it for the next 15 minutes. Babe, days. are you around? Cool. Yes. Radio. You, you got an FM stereo by you? <laughs> an AM <laughs> FM stereo by you? Yeah. Yeah, it'd be great if it was on AM. Yeah. Make sure you tune in. Oh shit, there's a commercial and nothing happened? Oh shit. Just stay tuned, babe. Like, that's the thing. Okay, Radios. So. Dude, that's crazy. Also, just like some of these songs, some of these people are wild. They're like, um, whatever you think, I just want to put out a song. It's like, Blair, don't call unless it. you know the Blair, specifics of the song you want to so. hear for the person you yeah. love. Let's get, let's Blair, get this bitch started. Are there? Whoa. We're on, we're that looks like Las Vegas. Blair, They're all joy. laughing at Miss Acock again, and I feel real bad. Well, ha ha, fun. Acock, are those legit pajamas, or did you girls but get them from wardrobe? These are our real ass. We DJs. rolled up with these. We're, we're safari sleepover. themed. I don't know why you keep saying legit or not legit. Right. This is the a real sleepover. Okay. And I, I think Ocean we woke up like this. Oh, you can't, we can't. Yeah, we'll have to do a close-up of that. It's like this thing. Okay, so I had Game Boy Color, and I had the purple one. And I was like, I think it was yellow, too. It was. Thank you. I like that guy in the bucket hat, but I'm not going to pick him. I'm, 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 the I'm, star. I'm going pink girl. I'm going to go schoolboy Q. I think my name is Amy. Is that fun? Is that her name? I like Amy. I like I the name Amy. The guy in the bucket hat looks like schoolboy Q. Amy. So, like, did you guys ever have any ter- terrible sleepovers? I mean, Hormos didn't Standard. have any. Did you feel like you were missing out? Yeah, what? for sure. You uh, weren't. Okay, nah, you were. One night at, at one of the sleepovers that I left early, one of the kids who passed out even Character before I left select. got like sour Sorry. cream and stuff stuffed into his ear. Amy. It was really gross. That's I did, I, so I gross. Like, I felt a little bit relieved that we're I didn't have to We're ready, you gotta click the, uh, the green one. Or sometimes it just felt like A. Sometimes it just felt like I was there too long, like I was ready for my mom to come get me now. Yeah. Like, listen, mom. Come get me. These people are weird. Okay. Like, it was chill oh, for a few hours. Oh, you guys and get your chance. It was always chill for a few hours, but I remember there was times when I just wanted to get away. Oh, fuck yeah. Which one am I? I was the bottom left. Somebody said... Afternoon. Hello, Okie Buff. 
It's Kim Congdon and Sarah Weinshank and Hi. Hi. And we are live on Josh Play's Twitch handle. And we're playing games and talking and we're having a sleepover. Welcome. We're having a sleepover. We're all comedians. This is our this is our first official episode of our me and Kim's weekly sleepover show that's every Monday at noon Pacific Sta Pacific Standard Time. Yes. I You're losing this race. Oh wow, because you know what? I'm also going the wrong way, which how, do, how does one already go the wrong way before the game begins? Uh, yeah. Oh man, can we restart? No, Sarah, this is lame. I'm gonna, ha am I gonna have to finish this all while you guys like chill? Why? You know, like, that's the thing. Do you think in the 90s you can just restart it? Oh. Yeah, my, well, it depends on who I was not playing with. <laughs> is everything, it's not really is how everything works. 90s Sorry. game? Like, I just feel like, also, I'm How in first far? Place, so I really don't want to let go right now. Like, yeah, this is just about her honest, her, her power trip. To be honest, yeah. I think you just need to take this hit. Yeah, to be honest, <laughs> um, I don't even know how to start, man. You hit the trigger. The trigger on the right. Oh. See, we didn't have time to teach you all this. Yeah, it's like, you know what? It sucks. I'm like the little sister that's bad at video games. She's it's not great at them, but you were good at um, that one. But, but I'm spirited. Yeah, you are. You, you know? You, I got so. I mean, hormones. Oh, where are you? Oh no, no. Mister, Mister. Am I about to laugh, Sarah? I just laughed too. Oh, how does that make you feel, you power monger? <laughs> All she wants is power. Do you see this? Yeah, I just laughed you. That's right. She validates herself by putting me down, which I get. I mean, I was talking so much shit in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Like in Mortal Kombat, that's my dick was huge when I was playing in Mortal Kombat. It was. Uh, wow, you guys are really. Back I never there. really say that phrase. My dick was huge. Or? I didn't like that. Yeah, that was aggressive. <laughs> yeah. You, oh, she's like, should I stop for gas and water? I would still beat you. <laughs> I don't yeah, know, really. Maybe. Oh, look at this car. It'd be dope Final if you could. Final lap, baby. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'll just. Should I just forfeit the game and then just hold? Wow. Check it out. You know. Now I'm really lost. I just feel like I'm like I'm driving. I'm kind of like Angeline. Oh shit! Do you guys ever see Angeline? There's a pink car. Angeline, the Los Angeles legend. I saw her two days ago. I paid money to take a photo with her. You have to pay her. Yeah, she has a whole. S How much does she charge? She no, she has the pink Corvette. And she's from the 90s in Los. Well, in the 80s, okay, this woman was given billboards from a dude. He like made her famous and bought her billboards all over Los Angeles. And her name's Angelina, and she has a pink Corvette with personalized license plate that say Angeline. And now she's like older, and she's still doing this. She's always in all pink, and she always has a pink Corvette. And I've been meaning to take a picture with her my whole life, basically. How much because do you have to pay? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. And she only lets you take one. Oh my god. And she sells t-shirts for forty dollars. I don't know why I'm plugging Angeline so hard right now. I, know, now. I hope these people represent will put out on YouTube or something. Yeah, Kim, like Kim ended up losing show. that race. I don't know if Kim likes losing or. Well, Sarah really. <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> Wait, are they, they want me to finish? They no, Thank down. God. It's like, come on, guys. <laughs> if Sarah bowls like she races, she would need bumpers. Oh, yeah, I definitely do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who's, who's, oh, talk who's talking? Who's <laughs> talking? Is All that your guys Christmas are amazing. Day? I love your stand-up. No, Can't wait for something. some specials. Thanks, yeah. Astro Pro. I got to go take care of my kids. Peace out. Bye. Poor Moose needs a wig for this gig. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a fucking rap? <laughs> Anytime. I wish half full was 30 minute episodes. Me too. Pete Blunt, Lope Dog. I'm not sure bumpers would even help. <laughs> hey, you guys, uh, fuck you. I was actually in the bowling <laughs> club, matter of fact. Are you ready Burn. to redeem yourself? Uh, I mean, yeah. Well, can you give me some pointers real quick? Yeah, Let's yeah, yeah. This to move, and then that's what do the I two hit? buttons. This button to move. The trigger in the back. I feel like someone's like grandma that's just getting briefed. Just like, listen, listen, <laughs> Nana. What you're gonna do is. Wow, all that button pushing made me thirsty. <laughs> that was a lot of button pushing. Mm. All right, we've got 
Oh my god, a bubble. Are we in a this? A bubble just went down. So hard. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. the worst. Thank you, Kim. Are you guys going to mention that the sleepover occurs at noon? <laughs> it's so a sleep if, you're, if you guys are watching, I'm Kimberly Congdon, and this is Sarah Weinting. This is Hormos Rashidi. <laughs> and this is our Slumber Party Monday show <laughs> at noon Sorry. Pacific Standard Time. In case you missed it. Because sleepovers are just really a state of mind. That's true. That's true. She told that to Valet. I did not. You told them that it's You're just trying to flex we valeted. <laughs> She's like, yeah, that's Sleepover. right. She told that to valet. <laughs> she did. <laughs> well, we valeted. Um, we valeted. Who are we waiting on? It oh. was an impressive one we did. That was that. a subtle <laughs> hint. Waiting on. <laughs> did you hear a hormone? I really don't know who we were because, waiting on. Um, oh, and uh, what are we waiting on again? Is, is I'm the world's shortest giraffe. Character okay, pick your character. I wanted to say that. It's cooler in my head. I was like, oh, because that's be friendship. Pink. How the valet You saved me, like Kim. Never get out Kim of bed. Kim saved my ass when I, a bubble was in my lung. <laughs> Someone said I had to set an alarm to wake up in time for this early morning sleepover. <laughs> 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 we appreciate the effort you put in. Did Standard you pick one? Sonic. All right, let's get out of here. I'm Amy. Amy looks like Sonic, but she's pink. Sarah? That's dope. Sarah, Sonic. what? Put the remote control. Pick the thing and then oh, don't oh, touch oh. the button. I didn't do it. Who's I don't that? Pink one? Why are you trying to upstage me with this bitch? Yeah, Amy. it's pink. The uh, musician pink. What kind of shit were you like? Okay, do you think do you okay, just do gross it. stuff at sleepovers? I guess. Who boys? Yeah. What do the boys do at sleepovers? He said. Guys? He said. He doesn't know. Fuck with the person who. Uh, no, one time I was there still and somebody fell asleep. Who? Cool. And, you and gotta just, stay like, late. Put stuff in their ears. And just, did we did that terrible. too. Yeah. I didn't like having sleepovers in my house, really. Are you ready, Sarah? Did you like having them at your house? Sarah, never, you're not moving. I never had them in my house either. Other, other than my cousins visiting and, and, and family visiting, those were kind of the equivalent of sleepovers. Honestly, like, this is the thing. Sleepovers were fine until you had a friend from hell come to your house. Like, there were certain friends that we had come over. My mom would be like, oh, yeah, she's never allowed back. Oh, yeah. Do you remember the friends that would come stay for, like, a couple days, and then they'd ask to stay a third day, and you'd tell your mom, tell her, you just say, tell her, say no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just say no, and she asked. Yeah, there was this girl in high school who always wanted to have sleepovers, and I was like, you know what, bitch? Like, it's too much. I was just like, I like having a sleepover. No, I didn't say that. I was like, of course you can come over. It's like, it's like, I just feel like sometimes it's like a lot to have someone in your space with like 24 hours without any like, especially like a friend that's just station there. And then it's like, also like, you, you, my family wouldn't function how we normally did fully when a friend was over. Oh Everyone's yeah, you like had to act on best behavior. You had to act like yeah. a good family. It's like whenever, like your whole family was like fucking crazy. Yeah, like whenever my friend would go to the bathroom, I remember my mom would go, when she leaves, that's it. You're in trouble. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh fuck, I don't want this bitch to leave now because <laughs> I'm about to get so yelled at. Now this person your best friend. Yeah, or my mom, one, one girl, like my mom kept having to like, my parents are so chill, but like they don't normally like yell at other people's kids. But there's one chick who just wouldn't listen at all like climbing on my parents like banister like up the stairs uh, and like she was just like not listening to anything and just, like throwing shit she was out of control my and mom. it's also annoying like embarrassing when you have a bad friend it's embarrassing and you feel like you ever yell at them and then your parents have to yell at them and then you feel weird because you know you're, and you're like well, this person's cool though it's cool yeah I don't want my mom to be fucking cramp with my style that's true also like we i had a pool party <laughs> in eighth grade and I, like, and my mom fucking yelled at kids for jumping off and diving. She's like, be careful, I don't want anyone to break their necks. Make sure you're jumping out. My parents are jumping a lot. Jumping out? Did you go to party? But you went to party school, right? Yeah, I mean, party stuff. How, what was your curfew in high school? around. Until I was 17, and then I, was I remember one time I fell asleep at my buddy Seth, my best friend Seth's house. Sep? Yeah. And like Seth Dick? It was like Seth Hair. Okay. But uh, I fell asleep at his house. It was like down the block from my house. We lived like in the same neighborhood. Okay. And I came home around midnight, and I fell asleep like on his couch watching movies or whatever. And my dad was like, get over here. And he smelled my breath to make sure I didn't have booze on my breath. 
And then he smelled my fingers. No! To see if I, uh... Had weed on your fingers. Had weed on my fingers. Oh, damn. Well, and I don't then, think that's uh, on you. All I had was just pussy. <laughs> no. No, 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 I didn't. I didn't. Is that, did he really, he really smell did, your he fingers? He really did smell my fingers. That's and, gross. And I was like a good kid in the I didn't do it either. I did crazy shit in high school. I was bad. Yeah. I would like barely make it home for my curfew. Yeah. They like, said that the, the game while well, I way last year. I don't know if I, if I'm just hormones is too far from the mic. LOL hormones, he smelled the butt. I, yeah, uh, like, I see, like, what butt. happens if I lose my endurance and I see myself doing badly? Yeah. <laughs> I just, like, make me there right now. Does everyone have to wait for me? <laughs> yeah. Kim? Oh, yeah. Come on, Sarah. I, there's no way I'm going to finish this. Sarah, I don't even know if I can finish this. Where keep going? I just off. I like to off road. Yeah. It's just, that's what I'm into personally. I'm like, why go? Why not pave my own path? Yeah, do your own thing. You know, <laughs> Sarah's racing name is Wrong Way Wine Shank. I'm into that. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Okay, so next, how do we? Yeah. <laughs> gotta like, finish, Sarah. That's I can't, so cool. Kim. Can you? She's like, I had to kill yourself She's off like, the bridge. The game that never ends. Like, suicide's a really serious the issue. If you guys want to learn more about suicide, please go to uh, suicideprevention.org. Uh, we can all do our part. What? He's just he's plugging suicide, and I wasn't expecting oh, yeah. it, but, like, he's absolutely right. Are you, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> if, you're, if, you're, if you're at home at 12 o'clock, and you have not much going on, and you're watching us, and you're feeling depressed, <laughs> you're feeling about... You're then very likely gonna try and commit suicide. <laughs> don't Just kill yourself. Don't. Sleep over with us. Yeah. Chat with us. Chat yeah. with us. Things to get crazy. Whoa! Right That's now I think we're kind of hungry. Should we get some snacks from from our mom? Yeah. We have the same mom, <laughs> and she uh, she has snacks. And oh, there she is. Hi, mom. Hey, mom. Oh, thank you. Well, I had a sleepover. The mom is just everyone's mom. Yeah. What yeah. do we have everyone's here? Can I have very... the brown banana? Do you want the banana? <laughs> no. There's pistachios. So who wants oh, yeah. it? There's only one. You know, Iran is actually known for having the best pistachios in the world. Are you fucking with us? No, no, it's true. Are you serious? Yeah, the pistachios oh, from Iran wow. are amazing. I'm trying to get those Iran. I want Iranian really pistachios. Good too. California's you want a really cliff good too. bar? No, oh. no, no, I'm good. A like cliff bar, like if it's at the wrong moment and your mouth what feels dry, a cliff bar could be really dry, but it's good. It's very, like, it keeps me mom, comfortable you know and not moms, overly hungry. You know moms. They oh, yeah, yeah. I, think I, think I feel like if mom smell. was a woman, she would have kept this banana fresh. <laughs> 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 Why are you talking shit on mom? <laughs> I'm just kidding, mom. Thanks for the snacks. Mom works hard. And, and, and I just want to say My shout mom? out to all the moms out there. I want to <laughs> shout out to all those hardworking moms hosting sleepovers out there. Uh, that shit's hard work. Yeah, fuck that shit. I'm not going to let my kids have sleepovers on at our house. <laughs> Hell no. Because uh, I'll just be like, yeah, whatever. They're up. I'm still up. Like, I have the same hours of a, as a sleepover. Like, How's this crunching when I eat? Is it excessive? Did you ever get in trouble at someone else's house at a sleepover, Kim? Hmm? Did you ever get in trouble at someone? No, I never got in trouble on anyone's I Oh, you know what? Yes. Yeah, see? One time. See, I knew you could get in trouble. This, me, well, it was me and the girl whose sleepover it was. We got in trouble by her parents. Because we took everyone's bras. And froze them. And froze them. And then, Why, yeah. What the fuck was that shit? That was so funny for some reason. It was so funny. It was so funny. It was the coolest trick you could do. Do you know when you first started wearing a bra and it was super exciting? Yeah. 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 Right? Mm -hmm. I remember the first day I got a boob. Like, yeah. just a nipple. Like, yeah. I remember the first day my nipple was, a, like, a real nipple. Yeah. Oh, I was 28. I was just, <laughs> do you remember that? Do <laughs> like you remember I was when like, your oh. nipple became a nipple? I mean, I don't want to talk about <laughs> puberty, really. I remember when Sarah's nipple became <gasps> a nipple. Yeah, that's right. Six months ago. Yep. And it got cold at the comedy store. And, and I was like, oh, <laughs> it became a nipple. This bitch has nipples. She has <laughs> nipples. <laughs> She's, She's a mammal. She's got nipples. Um, what did you say? Our lava lamp. Our lava lamp is flowing. It's the flowing, lava dude. is flowing, and the snacks are oh, going. What about school <laughs> school dances? Did you go to those, Hormos? Yeah. Well, I, I, yeah, I, I went to school dances uh, a couple in high school, but they were expensive. I lived in, like, a pretty expensive area, and it was, like, 
two hundred dollars to go to like yeah, the dance. Dude. Event. And wow. like that shit was expensive. Uh, you have to pay for the dance, but yeah. then you have to pay for your like outfit. Clothing and stuff, yeah. And then like kids in LA, like these fucking That wasn't like that for us. You just wore a pretty dress that you had in your like a not like middle a high school, school dance. Yeah, I'm oh talking yeah, middle about, school. Like, middle school. Yeah, those dances. were fun. Those, those were, were fun. the real I ass hated dances. it. When only <laughs> boys and girls only slow dance together. Yeah. You didn't fast dance yeah. together. Oh yeah, but also the people that I slow dance with, please. No thanks. It was like remember the cry baby? What? The crybaby dance move. What's what is that? the crybaby? I didn't, would never show you, but it's humping the ground. Oh, yeah. I would get in trouble oh, yeah, yeah, for that. I, I, yeah, At my I school, that. that shit did not fly. They I, come I, I separate you. They it was like something easy to do. You like pound on the ground with one hand and you're humping it with the other, right? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. 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 You guys would do that at dances? I didn't. Uh, Only the would little bodies would. I would like, would. You would g- I would get in trouble. Mm-hmm. I remember. Well, you circled around your friend and then they would do that. I remember in middle school, uh, like being nervous about how to how to like get a dance with a girl and then how to get her number afterwards and stuff. So mm. me and my best friend Seth, yeah, Seth so Ervakiel, uh, <laughs> uh, we, we came up with a, a thing we called the Coke Plan, oh where God. where we would ask a girl to dance a slow dance and then afterwards we would <laughs> we called it the Coke Plan. We'd ask her if she wanted to go get a Coke. And then and then we'd walk That's over so to the Coke cute. area and we'd get a Coke and then and then you we'd had ask her soda for a at your dances. <laughs> yeah, this shit was off the chain. And mine, there was like, oh yeah, there's some fruit punch or milk, milk. You know, it milk was like breath I feel dancing? like at my school there was never really that was, soda. That was the worst breath dance yeah. ever. With milk. I just didn't. Ever, That's awful. I yeah. didn't really get punch, it. I could see. I mm-hmm. didn't get into milk. Yeah. I did not get into milk. I like it with cookies. There was yeah Cereal. with cookies. Is but it's the bomb. But like I was like the food at other people's houses at sleepovers. Mm-hmm. I was like, Mom, come on, make some good shit. We gotta we gotta entertain my friends. Like I don't want something weird. Like my mom would make this weird turkey meatloaf. I was like, Listen, Mom, <laughs> when my friends come over, if you could just not do that turkey meatloaf thing that you like to do. I would appreciate so it. She probably like slaved over the turkey. Meatloaf. I know, and I'm just <laughs> like this. <laughs> healthy, and they can't even tell the difference. I know. <laughs> She's like, I love my babies. Want them healthy. <laughs> Ugh! It was uh, my mom used to make this crazy turkey meatloaf, that was like the color of like Pueblo homes, like that that terracotta milk. orange. Terracotta is a great color. That was the color of her meatloaf for some oh. reason, and I was like, Mom, I don't feel like this should be <laughs> this color. And then the whole family got super sick from this meatloaf. Oh, my God. And we never ate that shit wow. again. And I was like, thank God. And that put an end to it oh once God. and for all. I'm glad you did. Yeah. I was like, listen, Mom, this turkey meatloaf is not f- not the jam. Should we? Um, people are loving milk. I do love milk. People are loving milk. It's also like I went over to this girl, this girl's house, and her mom fed us all ham loaf. Now, that mm. was interesting. Don't get yum, don't yum, yum. When your kid's having a sleepover, don't get creative. Mac and cheese, hot pizza. dog, cereal, pizza. If you're yeah. a parent out there Burgers. and you're wondering what to feed your don't kids, don't get all asleep. crafty with Edibles. your bullshit. Edibles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah if you want to make him go to bed. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good trick. Yeah. I'm going to use that when I'm a parent. What's wrong with my son? Should <laughs> we pull out of the... Drive the so, PM. so what we're going to do now is we're going to pull a full few questions that we're going to ask Hormos okay. out yeah. of this bucket. Some are questions. Word. Some are just things that we can do. It's the yeah. sleepover bucket. And also, <laughs> like, if you guys want to send in some questions you want to ask Hormos, we'll ask him, and um, we'll get to know him a little better. You can ask him anything. I'm sure I'm sure ask there's no anything. question you can't ask. Um, so let's pull the first Ex- thing out. Hormos, you want to pull Except he doesn't feel comfortable telling where he bought those PJs. Mm-hmm. Or um, I don't even remember. Probably what? Ross, Dress for Less. Wow, he even feels comfortable telling them. Okay. Jeff, Jeff Ross dressed for less. So mm-hmm. he, this this is says two truths and a lie. Okay. Two truths. So and a lie. not true true truths. <laughs> two truths. <laughs> two truths. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know it's Let like me see uh, this. So two truthless. <laughs> oh, I bet I'm you just enunciating in weird places from all of this. Fu- I'm like amped up, Kim. <laughs> I'm loving these Cheetos. I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, though, when I got that bubble in my lung and Kim saved me, that Hi was Kyle. fucking friendship. Kyle <laughs> was Crusos friendship. is here. Who? I saved you. Oh, when I c- yeah, that was nice you? of you. Did you oh. finish the game for me too, or did we just kill I me? I finished off? it. No. Yeah, I got did you. Did she really? Yeah, she got you. How many laps ten. did I complete? She got you top ten. You well, yeah, there was only three of us. You did <laughs> <three>. <laughs> nice fry, hormones. <laughs> um, so what were we just talking about? Oh, two truths and a lie. So in this segment, I guess okay. we all should we all do two, two truths and a yeah, lie? Yeah, let's see. Let's test each other and see if we well, can figure maybe out. Maybe I say we start with hormones. Okay, we'll start with hormones. You know how to play, right? No. You tell two truths and a lie, and we have to guess which one's a lie. Okay. 
Um, so we'll give you a second to think about. I'm sure I'm around you a lot. I know you're good at lying. So. Okay. Um, it's lying, and when you're ready, just give out two facts and one lie, and we're going to guess which one's a lie about yourself. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't get my driver's license until I was 18. Okay. Uh, I didn't lose my virginity until I was 18. Okay. And uh, I grew up hating fine. one of my aunts. I <laughs> think that I... <laughs> I think it's funny if it's the the ant thing. Is that a lie? I think the lie is the driver's license. That's right. Yeah, that, yeah. I got my driver's license when I turned sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. damn! You're good at this game, though. <laughs> I guess the right answer. She got it right. So. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying Hormos is good at picking the lie and the truth. That's true. Like you did, you did it really incognito style. Like I could be like, well, yeah, I had a pet. <laughs> like koala at one point, and that'd obviously be the lie. Like, well, let's test you out. You give us two truths and, and a lie. I'm gonna say the lie is the pet koala one. <laughs> she's about to say. No, like that can't count, you guys. That's a throwaway. That's a throwaway, though. Okay, so, huh? Okay. Um. Damn. Can you go first? No, you go. All right, here we go. Two truths and a lie. Okay. Um. For a period of time, I would fall asleep next to the. Wi- I would fall asleep with the Titanic soundtrack playing. Okay. It was a Titanic CD. Okay. Um, fuck. I'm trying to think of shit you don't know about me, Kim. I ice skated for six years. Okay. And um. then the lie is. <laughs> 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 Whatever the third one is, I'm gonna call. Why? It Why do you think that, Hormos? <laughs> because on. I feel like those were two real. Well, you don't know. Reasons. Okay, maybe what are I'm the wrong. things I even just said? Come on, ice I said skating, ice skating and Titanic soundtrack. The Titanic soundtrack I'd fall asleep to. Yeah. Someone and in the chat said near, and then the next. <laughs> <car>. <laughs> yeah. That's a great song. And also, there's a Titanic on this board behind us. So lie. what's your lie? That's the lie. No, There's no, no, no. Okay, the lie is. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the way the game works. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> it's not the lie. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I'm doing some next level shit oh, that you guys don't even mind. know <laughs> about <laughs> right now. I'm, t- I'm <laughs> strategizing. <laughs> yeah, this, sh- this shit is advanced. This is like government. I know. <laughs> the lie. I know how to do sign language. Uh. I'm fluent in sign language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one I'm I say is a lot. Sign <laughs> <laughs> language is a lie. I'm fluent in sign <laughs> language. <laughs> I say that one's a lie. Were we right? Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, two truths and a lie, it's not as easy as... Well, the two truths Wha- were so detailed that I, you could just tell. <laughs> I know. And I think you told me about ice skating before. Yeah, I was yeah. good. All right, Kim. Um. Okay. I this giraffe is sweating. <laughs> Okay, so I guess my first one would be that I... Okay, hold <laughs> It's on. hard, right? Yeah. Hormos, you make two truths and a lie <laughs> look <laughs> easy, and I don't know what that says about you <laughs> or or us. Okay, I, uh, I once <laughs> brushed against a shark while surfing in the ocean. Um, the first time a guy went down on me, he got a nosebleed. And... Um, my first job was at an Irish pub. Okay. Uh, the lie is the Irish pub. Yeah, I agree. I think Irish no. pub is a lie. Uh, that you worked in an Irish pub before you, as your first job before you were 21. That seems like malpractice somehow. How are you allowed somehow. to work in an Irish pub? But I did think the shark was made up. The and shark I knew was it not right true. after you fucking said it that, that was it. And then you said the pub thing. And I should have gone with my gut. That's you know what? what? And you know, I used to actually tell people that story. That was like a real lie that I made <laughs> as before. I was like, I'll just use this lie that I lied. Huh, how did you work at a pub? As your first job, did you not work until you were 21? No, I was 16. You could work at a bar when you were 16? It was like an like Irish <laughs> restaurant bar slash bar. Okay, so uh, so that was a lie. It wasn't a pub. Same thing. So me and, me and Sarah got it right. Yeah, let's right. Get you some were lying. Right. Let's get some right. props. Right. Yeah, bars and Love pubs, remembers much, <laughs> <this story. laughs> much fucking different. Bars you said and pub. pubs. You said pub. Shark is a lie. Yep, Torgy got it. She talked about the pub on stream before. See, they listen. Did you guys have any questions for Hormos? 
Let's let's pull another thing out of the bucket. Yeah, let's pull another thing out of the bucket. Okay, let's see. The not so ice bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Tell a scary story. Do you have any scary stories? Yeah. Um, well, like let's a sleepover hear a scary story. Yeah, let's hear your scariest story. Like a true story? I just dropped a Cheeto straight out of my mouth. I mean, you can y- do what you want with it, you know? Feel free to be creative. Okay, or well just tell a scary story. I'll just tell the, s- the, the, the only, like, just possible the ghostly <laughs> kind of thing that happened to me at the comedy store, which is famous for being haunted. I don't know if I believe it or not, but... Potassium, anyone? <laughs> I'm <good>. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, this banana actually looks freckled like me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> Moz, what are you guys trying to say here? Moz is uh, Farsi for banana. So. It is? Yeah. Am I like eating Like growing up, like my Persian friends would make fun this of me. This bitch is that. eating a banana. Yeah. Uh, see, all the viewers at home were hoping that you would eat I it like that. I knew they were. You, yeah. I made a huge I was mistake like, are you of brushing my teeth on this? Periscope one time. I made a huge mistake of brushing my teeth on Periscope. Oh, I, I wouldn't like feel comfortable <laughs> brushing my teeth on Periscope because I, I want to get in there. I, I so religiously don't s- brush my teeth because of religious We want to hear your scary story. Tell us your scary I'm story. Uh, I was at the comedy store. Uh, I worked there, so I was doing the sign, changing the marquee. And so I had to walk through a pitch black main room. And I was, I was maybe a little bit tipsy, maybe a little bit buzzed, a little bit high from earlier. Not really fucked up, but just a little bit. So you were just chilling. Relative to what I am normally, sober. Mm-hmm. And I was walking through a dark main room. It's scary in there, mm-hmm. too. And, and I swore I heard some whisperings in my ear. Like, like, like somebody was right in my ear, and I look around, have my flashlight. Nobody's around. Like, they're just and like, pss, 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 Yeah, like, pss, 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 pss. They s- people hear that a lot. Yeah, there. I've had other people tell me they've heard that too. Oh, fuck and comics that shit. and even on stage, a lot of comics I've heard a mm-hmm. few times. I'll go, "What'd you say to an audience member?" And no one would have said oh, anything. Yeah, I've heard comics say they heard people talking like right in their ears, and people in the front row said, "I also heard that." Like Ugh, other people in the front row so heard it too. Creepy. Yeah, it's creepy. Oh hell no. <laughs> yeah, C- and I've had comics who said in the OR in the original room there was a mist that 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 appeared and kind of floated around. Like, nobody was smoking or vaping, but, like, a mist appeared when they heard whispers and stuff. You know I what, I heard the though? mist thing, too. Yeah. I've also been so stoned that someone could be like, look, that's a mist. And I'll be like, oh, fuck, this shit is haunted. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I fear, I for real, just, like, from the energy there, like, there are just times when I'm like, the vibe here is very dark in a specific, sp- like, yeah. for a moment. I'm like, this shit feels dark right now. Yeah. But, like, Why? Like well, super. I mean, there's, there's a lot of people who were killed there back in the day, I and know. there's a bunch of botched abortions and people who died from, well, from <laughs> abortions. They used to be I abortions. I just feel like uh, you know, one time room. I was. This could have been Is that nothing. True. Yeah. I was talking about botched abortions yeah, at our it's sleepover. True. It's true. If you're just <laughs> tuning in, if you're just tuning in, and you heard botched abortions, and you're asking why, well. We'll explain that. It's because it's a sleepover. Later. <laughs> this is a sleepover <laughs> show. What are you doing it's every Monday. 12 Pacific Standard Time. I'm Sarah Weinshank. I'm a comedian. And <laughs> this is Kimberly Congdon. She's also a comedian. We're your hosts. Tune in every week. This is Hormos. He's also a comedian. Hormos Rashidi. Hey, Mamnon. Merci. Yeah. So, yeah. When did That's you start doing comedy? Wait, wait. You didn't tell your ghost story, Sarah. Do you have any Do scary? I have to tell one? Oh, Do you have fuck. one? Or a scary story, right? Yeah, or a scary, a scary thing that happened story. To you? I got a knife pulled on me. Oh uh, yeah, that's a scary story. Tell us about that. And I that. also got robbed at Starbucks. That's like the most valley girl. robbed twice. Well, okay. The first time I was like, I was like at Starbucks. No, the first mm-hmm. time I was at Starbucks, I was sitting on a fountain, and I had like my wallet right in front of me, next to me. But I was talking to my friend, so my hand wasn't like on my wallet. Okay. So I was just like talking to him. And, like, the wallet was on my lap. Mm-hmm. And from the street, you could see it. Like, if mm-hmm. you're walking by, you'd be like, oh, her wallet's there. And she's not really, like, holding it. Mm-hmm. So, like, but it was the middle of the day, too. Mm-hmm. It was, like, 3 p.m. You didn't expect it. And I was talking to my friend. Yeah. I was talking to one of, to one of my guy friends, John. And he was, like, probably the least threatening person I could have been with. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was just, like, this little bitch and, like, a little cardigan. Yeah, poor you John. Know? John did it. They're like, oh, look at this. John who? My friend John. 
My Tell friend John Goshen. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, he's just a friend. She told she did, she him. I'm it. calling him a little John bitch. John Goshen. No, just John called Goshen. a little bitch. <laughs> well, you know, he's he's the homie, but it, like he was like not very threatening, you know. Especially w- to would like. Would you say thief. he puts the hoe in homie? I'm just saying, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, so like, John. I don't even know who you are. Probably a good guy. <laughs> if you're a band, yeah, I can't believe I just dropped, <laughs> dropped that last name. Uh, Someone on the chat said dropped wallet at Starbucks. Haunting confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so that cracks me up. That's hilarious. Why? Do, why am I telling this story? <laughs> I'm really lost in the details. Oh, so yeah, I got fucking someone ran up and took it, and that was scary because it was just like, whoa. It's so funny because that story started, and she gave us like the ending when she was like, the wallet was on my lap. It was midday. Yeah, I got stolen, like, but it then was what? Really happened <laughs> yeah yeah but no but the scariest is when i got a knife pulled on me in my driveway and that was during wow, the day crazy. too yeah and i was with my roommate that's so scary but we got our shit back how because okay he pulled a knife on us but like he was like kind of nervous and like he wasn't very secure when he pulled the knife like he pulled it out and was like give me your shit and we're like really and he's like yes but it wasn't like he was that scary but also he has a knife mm-hmm. so it's like you don't want to like fuck with someone who has a weapon when you couldn't you just do. run we probably could have but i was like i'm a baby i'm yeah. like a knife okay that's sharp okay here take my shit mm-hmm. yeah. and so we g- we gave him all of our shit and then i just started screaming l- as loud as i could because it was still light out and i was like screaming for my landlord at the time and he couldn't hear us but there was a girl across the street mm-hmm. who was like who was getting into our car who was like our age and she was like did he just steal your shit and we're like yeah and he like rode away on a bike and we got in the car with her she chased him down in her car with us in the back seats and was like, hey, we're going to call the cops. Give these girls back their shit right fucking what now. They ta- would he take your wallets and Wallet, stuff? Wallet, purse, phone, phone. everything. Mm. Keys, like, took everything. Wild. And so he was like, the cops? He got nervous and gave it back. Wow. Honestly, I would have probably ran him over with my car. No. Oh my God. Or, like, hit him with my car. You would have. And then just beat the shit out of him. No. Yeah, if it was a knife and he was like, if a guy ha- pulled a knife out on me and he seemed like soft i would probably just run away i wouldn't give him my shit and then i would look for something to grab and mm-hmm. start like hitting him with like yeah. something Pepper longer spray. than his knife yeah Pepper you almost have now. to and and if if he was driving away on a bike and i could get in my car and drive after him and hit him with my car i would hit him with my car beat the shit out of him. Really? Yeah. You're and not afraid I, of and getting then I, would I was thinking when you and got... And then I would, go, I, I would just hit and run him. But you wouldn't well, I was thinking that afraid. too when you said you were chasing him in the car. I was like, Maybe, I would just I bump crazy. his bike till he fell off. Do you have rage like that? I, I, yeah, I, I he's do. crazy. I do have rage issues. Because like, I've been in the car before little and tap, like, yeah. I do okay, something a little negligent. Yeah, a little tap, but then I would beat the shit out of him when he's on the ground. Yeah, a hard beating little tap. Yeah. You would beat the shit out of him. If someone threatened you with a knife... I would smash him in his face with my feet. Yeah, because I can't afford therapy. You would so. smash him in the face. Yeah. <gasps> okay. You wouldn't be robbing people anymore. Kim, what's your scary story? Sorry for robbing you, Sarah, says Monthu. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> what's my a scary story? A gun is story? a different story, though. Yeah. Oh, boy. I don't know. I'm trying to. Don't come here with your switchblade. Yeah. One t- this is uh, it's really not that scary. I've never had, like, a real scary story happen. But, um... One time, me and my mom were, uh, me and my mom and my sisters were checking out this huge farm that my aunt's boyfriend owned. His family owned, like, this huge farm of chickens. They sold to KFC, like, and they had all this stuff. And then in this one area, there was a bunch of Mexican people. And so we went around. We were like, what's going on? And my aunt's boyfriend was like, it's a cockfight. And we, we. What's a cockfight? It's where, it's really bad. It's where they, because when roosters, or, yeah, when they fight, is it chickens? It's chickens. Roosters. When chickens fight, or roosters, roosters yeah. fight. They kick each other in the chest. How's Aren't they chickens fight? Chickens, roosters. No, yeah, they're, no. they're boy roosters. Yeah, hens or or female chickens. Oh, this Male hen chickens or roosters. roosters. They're all chicken. Yeah. So so when they fight, Damn. they kick each other in the chest. So what they do during cockfights is they attach knives to the their people legs. People train yeah. chickens to fight. They just yeah they they just naturally fight fight each other. For and so they put them in close stuff. quarters and then they tie knives to their legs and then they kick each other ch- with the chest I with their not knives. I like that. Oh no, it's awful. And then the yeah, the, the chicken thing. that wins, the you bet on them. Yeah. Where were you doing? So this? this is a farm we visited and there was a cockfight going on and my mom was like, "This is scary. We shouldn't watch." And I was like, "I just want to watch one because." Puerto Rico, you said? No, it was in Florida. Oh. This is some <laughs> fucking Florida. Yeah, <laughs> so basically. So then we watched, and I was like, I don't want to watch this anymore. It was really sad. I just wanted to see it because it yeah. was already happening. 
I wanted to see what it was like. And then my mom was like, we need to leave. And when we were leaving, the cops broke, th- came into, came onto the fence. And they're like, we're about to break finished. up this cockfight. And they're like, <laughs> don't you move. And my mom was panicked. And she was like, we're not getting arrested. So she broke through the fence. All the horses got away. Like all the animals were fleeing. We were in an astro van. It was a spaghetti moment. I thought I was going to get arrested as an adult for watching a cockfight. Okay, but, like, this is the thing. That's mean. Yeah. That's mean. Like, I'm not into that. Let's tie blades to these evil it's fighting sick. chickens. It's like, not as bad as dog fighting, but it's re- it's I pretty mean, bad. it's pretty barbaric. It's yeah. like it that. Is. Also, though, like, I, in college, you know those those uh, fighting fish? They're, like, yeah, beta, beta fish. fish. Yeah. I knew people who did fraternity. Who put them together who and put them, them together and watch them fight. The beta fish? Yeah. yeah. And I just feel like that's fucked up. Yeah. Do you think that they get adrenaline from that? The the from creature. Watching them? Oh yeah, probably yeah. Imagine like, cause I feel like that's some fraternity bros. Shit. So like so much yeah. testosterone. And just that's the 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 least bad thing that those fraternity bros probably did. In oh there. yeah. 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 That chicken. was like angel work compared They're to like what raping yes. girls and then <laughs> having oh beta God. fish. Oh my Ew, it's so scary. It is scary. Well, they also had a chicken. This fraternity named Orange, Orange the Chicken, Orange Chicken, <laughs> Orange Chicken. That's yeah. Orange Chicken. That's a yeah. Good and one. he would show up to party. We had a chicken for a little, or a rooster for a little time, a little bit. His name was Fred. Fred. Mm-hmm. So. And he was delicious. Yeah. You guys ate him. I think so. You Some what? Oh, like every Christmas we they got a pig. our family yes cut a pig's neck open. No. Yeah. Like a luau. Let it drain out. And cooks the pig over a fire with an apple in its mouth. Uh, it's so good. Yeah, that sounds you great. You guys, I don't know. You don't Ever eat since pig? I saw, no, well, I'll fuck with it, but yeah. I don't want to. I don't want it to look like the pig. Like the pig, yeah. Like show me that shit when there's a pineapple on it and it's in a different on a plate. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there, I don't know. Especially after I saw Babe. So yeah. we have yeah, about. No, I feel it's hard to eat. Ten minutes babe. left. So we should play a quick game of Rocket League and then. Yeah. And then wrap it up. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can get Rocket League up. Fred's dead. You're right. Man, these. Let me tell you, this chat room, the people that have been chatting have been staying strong in the chat. Yes. They've thank really you been guys. putting their all into it. Somebody said that they I couldn't babysit them and that Hormos would be a fun babysitter and that oh. I wouldn't. And I'm just going to take a minute to be insulted by that because, matter of fact, motherfucker, I'm a fun ass babysitter. Yeah, I think you'd be actually a great babysitter. Thank I, you. I don't enjoy spending time with children that much. But you enjoy, did you say your niece? Oh, I love hanging out with my nieces, but that's family. And even that, like, after, after like, 30 <laughs> minutes of playing with children, I'm just like, I'm bored of drinking fake tea, you know? Oh, yeah. I, I fuck with that shit. I can do that shit all day. I like yeah. playing make believe and shit. But what I don't fuck with is, like, some of, like, the songs. Can you do something? Why is that? Let me see this. Do you remember how great it was at Mortal Kombat? <laughs> yeah. Didn't you lose, though, to Kim? Uh, I don't know about all that. <laughs> I mean, initially, initially, you know, the first round. That Mortal- first round. The yeah. glory round. Also, like, as a, as a button oh, pusher. Yeah. Let me say, but pushing buttons, it seems like it's chill. It's easy. Yeah. This shit is exhausting. Maybe that's part of being part of LaCrue, is you're, you got to be button pushers. Yeah, button pushers. Oh. LaCrue. Crew Me and Sarah Weinshank are in this like <laughs> crew called La Crew, named after the soda. Named after the soda, and Kim is a pledge. No, so she actually, might, she might be part of La Crew soon. Wow, so. wow. <laughs> well, honestly, honestly, Hormos. As a matter of fact, Kim did save my working. life. She did. She saved my life <laughs> when did. I had that bubble in my throat. It was that. That was painful. What is that exactly? <laughs> I don't know. It's how to carbonation start this. getting stuck in your esophagus. I think. Um, Sophocles. Till then, did you try all the remotes? Mm-hmm. Press that to join. Yeah, the play. Th- I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> None of nothing's working. Um. <gasps> okay. Okay. Wait. Okay. Okay. Here we go. She triggered go. something. Uh, I'm like, look at Kim. She's what's next? Kim. This is this what we play? So you were yeah. in a fucking Ninja Turtle, right? Yeah, and I loved wrestling when I was a kid. Oh yeah, wrestling. Especially like when we were kids, that the was shit. like the golden age for us. Yeah, Brett the Hitman Hart was my shit. Oh, I, I always dreamt of being in an audience and having him come and put his glasses on my face. Pro, don't you pro, rookie. But no bots. We don't want any bots, right? It's a What's bot. Well, then we have to play online. 
Okay, then we want bots. I don't know. Okay, this stopped working. I'll just let Kim do the hard thing in here. This went out again. Well, what do, what are you gonna do? It happens. Okay, Kim, so Sarah's play maybe a Nick song maybe in the meantime, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Ball so hard. <laughs> ball so hard. <laughs> yeah, ball Dab. so hard. Yeah, that's Dab. right. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. I bet the dab was created okay, by somebody it who works. had to sneeze on the dance floor. So, like, I like that as, like, if we ever... The game's up and ready. <laughs> Solid. And I love that the oh, here we go. says Marshalls. Uh, I feel like Marshalls is a very 90s thing, too. Yeah, okay. Um, she, like, we like to carry the theme so I think <laughs> very far, very detailed. Join Team Blue. Oh, wait. So there's only blue or orange? Wait. Options. Options. Who doesn't oh. like options? Who doesn't like an amenity? An option. What's happening? Hormas. What kind of music did you listen to? As a little kid, I loved How Guns N' Roses and Bon Jovi and like did? hair band stuff. Brent? And then I loved West Coast hip hop when like the Chronic oh, and Doggy Style and stuff come, came out. What, and, and I wrong? always loved Tupac. How to make it more than one player? Private match? Create private match? Create private match. Is it this? I don't know. Can't just two people play and then I'll play the whoever wins? Whatever. New okay, season. here. We're ready. Th three versus three. New season? That no, uh, we don't know how to make it two player. No, but three whatever you three. just had on was right. No, it wasn't. That, look, three cards. One, two, three. Oh. Continue. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Continue. Look at that wizard hat. This looks like a cool lot, though. though. This is like now we're at have a team name. I don't know. I fucking don't know at okay. all. Do I have to click something just to get pick, in? Just pick anything, right? No, because that's not right. Okay, wait. Join. Oh, okay. Here we go. I think I, I joined already. Okay. Um. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. Oh, wait, which which one am I? I hope I'm the big one, and I am. This fucking okay, ego, oh, so egomania. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Egomania. She needs Change to be the big team. one. I'm just Let's all join blue. Wait, why? How? So we're what on the same team, right? I thought we're going against each other. We should be on the same no, team. It will be fun. Join blue? Wait, no, I want to go against each other. Then you wanted to do two on two? Oh, no, fuck it. This seems oh, good. Oh, wait. Which one There's am no I? There's no other team. Whatever. Oh, this no, is, there is. No, it's is us against orange, and it's a soccer match. Oh, well, where's the damn ball? You press Y, the top button, and it'll give you a ball cam. Am I in the goal? How did oh, I get here? Fuck. How do you reverse? Um, the, uh, the opposite trigger to go. Got it. Hormos, don't let them get it in. <laughs> Foremost, don't let them no! get it in. No, no. If you're just tuning in now, welcome to me and Kimberly Kong. If you're just tuning in now, you're late as fuck. But better late than never. Better to show up for some of the sleepover than hear everyone talking about it. True that. And not have been there. Like, and be the one as we learned today from Hormos, at least go to some of the sleepover, even if you can't That's sleepover. right. Yeah, that's what Hormos taught Even my through. first sleepover. Actually, you know what? I, I, I uh, you can't even spend the night I here. Used to, I used to sleep over <laughs> at Kim's house for about a year. I had a That's sleepover true. at your house. That's true. So that was probably my first sleepover. <laughs> that's why you keep wanting to have a sleepover yeah, at your apartment. Yeah, it's not that I was homeless. No, that's I, no. That's why you keep wanting to have a sleepover at your apartment now. I remember you're like, we'll get movies. We'll oh, yeah, yeah, probably. Area. Oh, yeah, it's probably like some We scored, shit, bitches. Though. We did? I think. Let's go for a team. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, we did it. We're really cute. Player we two. Well, if we scored, we did. Actually. Oh no, they scored for us. Yeah, they scored for us. All right, good. Who's they? Orange. Do you remember Bubble Deaths? Pepperidge Farms everywhere. I don't know what that is. What is it called? Bubble. Ooh, I'm what about is to it score. Called? Oh damn! I thought that was going in. Oh, I'm about to score. Ice House Chronicles. Yes. Yeah, nice. Look at this. Ice House Chronicles this Friday, Tuesday, Snack, Sleepover Mondays, and Verbal Violence. Full week of Kim and Sarah this Yay! Day. Just watching CNN now. Donald Trump has 71% of the vote over Hillary Clinton in the polls. It's going what? to be a new president. 71%? Yeah. Let's just not that, that's not a real poll. No if you want to talk politics, then management. you got to yeah. listen to no, Dormos' podcast. There's definitely podcast. no way that that 71% number is true. 
Yeah, I, I mean, these really people were also going to Democrats could, are like 35% of the population. It's also the Democratic <laughs> National And Convention even Republicans, a lot of Republicans don't want to vote for Trump. Yeah, and, and there's no way that 5 or 6% of the Democrats are voting for Trump. Now you got more started. Yeah, I mean, not just, it's just not. If you want to <laughs> if you want to talk about what I know, troll dolls, then it can only go so far. You can only get so deep with troll dolls. Troll dolls? Yeah, but can, okay. So when I was actually watching Trump speech oh, fuck. speak last week, because I just get fascinated by people's public speaking abilities, especially yes. like <laughs> from like a stand-up perspective of like, oh, let's see their performance. Like, yeah. how are, how is this man appealing to people? Like, what is he doing when he's on that podium? That like. You know, like, yeah. what is he, that people, people believe what he's saying. Like, he's charismatic as fuck. Trump? I think he's charismatic. I don't think he's charismatic at all. I do. I think, like, he says shit, and it could be a complete lie, but he fucking believes that with every fiber of his being in that moment. I think no, he's I a don't great think salesman. I don't think that at all. I think I he's am. a great salesman. I'm not saying... I, would I don't think he's charismatic. For him. I think and he's I for think sure charismatic just dumb, because people are think he's stupid. charismatic. No, the and fact that he's doing so good means he's charismatic. Yeah, he's charismatic you know? as fuck. He talks fuck. and people like it, and he says the most racist right. shit, and people. But also, I think I think he's charismatic towards racist people who like hate. He like provide he provides a hateful message. He's he's just like there's something that he's doing that's persuasive. Like, I took a class in college called Persuasive Speech, and that shit was, like, stuff like that, where it's, like, you have to, like, pick a side and then try to, like... Yeah, like rhetoric. Yeah. Rhetoric sounds like such a 1900s <laughs> word. It's like, oh, yes, well, and I was studying rhetoric with my... Yes! With my quilt. Yeah, that's right. We did it! <laughs> yeah, I'm doing nothing. <laughs> I'm We're just, like, like, on the right, other side. <laughs> Hello from the other side. <laughs> a lot of Trump's appeal is just how uh, it's just like Americans are racist and and want to say politically incorrect stuff, and he makes them feel he okay about those feelings. Well, and he lies, like he says, like the economy's bad, blah blah blah. Obama, and it's like the economy's better than it was before Obama. So it is. Yeah, for sure. Before Obama it was Bush, and it was like the worst economy Bush since the me up, man. since the depression. That dude was so stupid that it was like laughable, and it's so funny. How did these yeah. people get to? That's why they say anyone can be president, like if you put your heart into it. Just it just seems like so much energy. It's it like, does really seem. You like really like think? Like, damn it! Also, like you don't buy your own toilet paper if you're the president. You have more fortune to do. I'm kind of into that. Like, what do you mean toilet paper? Like, you are not gonna go to to a CBS as uh -huh. a president to pick up a, a roll of toilet paper. No, of course not. But like, what? That's interesting, right? Sure. Like, imagine never going to get your own tampons again, Kim. Would you be down with that? Yeah. yeah like, but you'll do that <laughs> like four years. But not then, when I'm president. But like, I'm trying to get myself an intern. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm for sure gonna have someone do everything for me. Really? Yeah. See, like, I think I'm that lazy like. As fuck. But also, like, with technology, the way that it's going, you just need an app. You can do anything. You're like, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I got school supplies. I didn't even leave my house. That's right. I paid a bill. Didn't leave my house. I got food. Didn't leave my house. It's weird. I'm never leaving my house once I have money. But when you're poor, you got to leave your house. You have to leave your house All a you got to do is be out of the house. Right? Yeah. This mother also, like, sleepover me. parties as an adult. Oh, my gosh. Oh, sorry. Someone's like, politics, not what I want at a sleepover. Sorry, <laughs> Lope Dog. Lope Dog is tripping really hard about this politics talk. Yeah, but he didn't like it. He's like, talk about troll dolls, baby, <laughs> babies. I mean, I think Donald Trump hacked his hairstyle from these troll dolls. Yeah, don't let these people score in the last 30 seconds. Don't let these people tell us what to talk about, even if it is Lope Dog. Also, that's not Shania Twain on our wall. No, that's not Shania Twain at all. Sorry. Oh, I didn't even notice. So that's we're we're gonna after this we're gonna uh, Sarah. We're really in the here. really final seven seconds of a very important game. Oh. Sorry, I was hoping we could do shadow puppets. <laughs> I know, Yay. I know. You just let your remote control down. We won. Yeah, yeah we did it. Okay. Well, well Thank this you was guys. this has been it's 1:30. I think that's our show. Um, Hormos, do you have anything coming up that you wanna? 
uh, plug, plug or uh, tag. I don't even remember. Where what can our listeners find you? Uh, I'm on Twitter at not hormones. And your and, name uh, is Hormones Rashidi. Yeah, uh, name's Hormones Rashidi. Political potluck uh, mm-hmm. co- will come out. I think every Monday night or Tuesday morning. So is that on iTunes? I. I I'm having a problem getting it on iTunes because it's saying it won't. It can't validate it. Something to do with it takes a minute. Yeah, to get uh, your RSS feed on. I got the RSS feed. I put it in. It said it can't validate because it needs to have a descriptive tag, and I put a descriptive tag on, and it still said it's not on there. Yeah, it's kind of tricky, like the logistics. But you can. But is it online somewhere else on a different platform? Yeah, yeah, it's on something called Podomatic is what it's being hosted on. Okay, cool. And you can get it through my Twitter. And it's called Political Potluck. Political Potluck. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Anything else you want to plug? Um, no. I'll be at the Comedy Store every Monday. Yay. Uh, as will these two ladies. Yay. Yay. Sarah, and, uh, what yeah. about you? Um, I don't really think I have anything. Come to Ice House Friday mm-hmm. if you're around. Just go show Friday. Um, and then what else? Oh, listen to my podcast, Tuesday Snacks. It comes yeah. out every Tuesday on iTunes. There's an episode with Hormos and an episode with Kim. So mm-hmm. listen to both motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. Um, and also tune in next Monday for more sleepover. Yeah. With me and Kimberly Congdon tw- on Twitch. Yeah. Twelve and noon Pacific noon. Standard Time. PST. And you guys um, said you guys said you guys were wearing lingerie next week, right? Uh, you know our guest is. Okay. Cool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, no, this is $12. August twelfth, I will be at uh, Church of Fun, um, and then also on. What's the Church of Fun? Uh, Sounds dope. In Angel City, and I don't know the date, but I have it all on my Twitter, at Kimberly Congdon. Check out um, Half Full Series on YouTube. Uh, follow Josh Play on Twitch. Follow Josh on Twitter. S- uh, Princess Shank on Twitter. Not Hormones on Twitter. Um, come watch every Monday. We'll be here with a new guest. It'll be fun. Thank you for watching. Um, bye, bye, guys. Thank you. Hey, bye.